Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get a free VPN using OpenVPN hosted on Linode. Um, first of all, you want to head to this page. There's a link in the description. Uh, I just want to say it's not my link. It's not some affiliate shit or anything. It's not sponsored. Um, I think I'm obligated to say that, but yeah. But yeah, go in here and sign up to get the $100 in credit for free. Once you have done that, just log in and it will uh, it will take you to this cloud.linode.com, this dashboard, and there will be a blue button like this called Create Linode. So we'll create a Linode. Once we have reached this page, we will click on Marketplace and search for Open VPN, like that. We'll click on it, scroll down, and we see Open VPN Setup. This window have, has popped up now. So we just want to close the advanced options because because we don't want anything to do with that. So yeah. And then after that, we'll just select an image, just Debian 11. Pick a region. I know for a fact that Frankfurt is best for me, but you can check the speed tests here of each server. And uh, yeah, usually it's the one closest to you. Now we want to uh, select a plan. Uh, just pick the nano one gigabyte one. You can pick the two gigabyte or more, but like one or two if you have asked me, but I'll just pick the one gigabyte plan. Then we have to give it a name. So I just call it test YouTube VPN here, and you have to put a root password. So we'll just do that. That. And now scroll down, don't do anything else, and just click Create Linode. And you cannot see that button, but it's the one in the bottom corner here. Yeah, so now it's provisioning. And as you can see, it seems to be working. So I'll be right back when it's done. Um, as you can see, the server is running and the first thing we want to do is just click this IP address here. Go here, HTTPS colon slash slash the IP, and then we want to specify the port, so colon and then uh, 943 and slash admin to get to the admin panel. So we'll go there, and as you can see, it says your connection is not private. Just ignore that and click advanced and proceed. Now that we get to this page, we know that the username is OpenVPN, but there is a bug. So if you try to use your root password here, it won't work. As you can see, it won't work. Um, but there's a way around this bug. The bug is listed. Uh, OpenVPN is aware of the bug. So we'll just do this little workaround real quick. We want to copy this SSH access like that. Then we want to open the terminal. You can just write CMD here and click this and then copy it in. And then it wants to establish the connection with the fingerprint. You just write yes and your root password that we created earlier. Now that we're in, we want to write CD dot dot to get into the home or into the root folder here where our user folder is found. So we want to go to CD USR user and then CD local CD open VPN underscore AS. And we should see a file called init.log. So this is our, this has, this is the file that contains the um, initialization process. Um, so we want to open this with the text editor sudo nano init.log or you can do cat init.log here. So if we scroll up, we can see that it says initializing OpenVPN. But what we want to find is the auto generated pass. So this is what we want. I'll just be sure that I've copied it here. Yes, I have. So now we can go to the admin panel and do open VPN and 
the password that we found the auto generated password. If we sign in now, we do indeed get access. So we can just exit this real quick here, like that. And now you can see we're in the panel. So what we want to do is first of all, go and change the TLS settings. We want to change it to 1.3. This is a more secure version. We will just do it on both of them. Save the settings and update running server. It, this will log us out, so beware of that. Uh, whoops, like that. Then the code here, login. You can you can use something like Bitwarden or another password manager to to uh, for the code here. But otherwise, you can go to use the permissions. This is the admin and you can change the password in here if you want. Uh, but yeah, now that we are in user permissions, we want to create a new user. So we can just call this test user. I'm just going to use lowercase test user here. We want to allow auto login and we want to set a password. Take the settings and now we are actually done. All we want to do is go back out of the admin terminal. So we'll delete this part. So the link looks like this. Click in here and now we should. So you can see this is the connect. It says connect here. So now we should be able to use a new user, test user and our newly created password. Yeah, and as you can see, we got access. This is the one uh, OpenVPN recommends for your device. So I'll just download this one. But um, as you can see, I already have the OpenVPN. But if you don't have it, just use the top link. And I'll also show you how to get it on your phone. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is my currently running one. But you can also add um, if you already have OpenVPN, you can add your files. So you'll pick the auto login profile here. We want to create a new one with a file. Drag and drop this auto login file into here. And as you can see, it will pop up. And we can just call it test VPN VPN Frankfurt. I like to define where the where it is. So we just connect. Don't show again, connect. So now you can see we are actually connecting to this server. And you can see we are connected. And if we just check what's my IP, I think it's this one. Yeah. So you can see it says that I am This is so annoying. Cool. So as you can see, I am in Frankfurt. And it also says that here, my ISP is Linode, which makes sense. But yeah, that's it. And also you can see that this IP matches up with the server IP here. So it seems to be working. To get it on your phone, you would have to take this profile here. And I don't know, does it? Yeah, it creates a new profile. So you have to create a new profile, of course. But you would have to go to your mail. And compose a new mail here. So we want to create a new mail. I'll just send mine to myself here. Call this uh, open VPN profile. And I want to drag the profile in here and click send. So that's how you do that. And I'll go on my phone now. So first of all, you would want to install the open VPN app here. 
the one called OpenVPN Connect, this one. Once you have that installed, you want to go into your mail and get the mail from yourself here. You want to click this and then the bottom in the left hand corner, the box with the arrow. And you want to click on open in OpenVPN here and click add. You can customize it again and connect. Don't show again. Okay. And as you can see, we connected to the same VPN. So if we go back on the computer now, I can show you what happened. So now that we are back on the computer, if we access the admin terminal once again, you can see in the status overview that we have two active connections out of the allowed two allowed active connections. So with this method, you can only get two connections. But if you leave, if you have a computer at work, uh, then that's one. If you have a computer at home, then that's two. But if you power down your computer at work, then that's <laughs> then that's one. Um, and then you can use your phone. So you can use your phone all the time, and then you can switch between your work and home computer um, all the time. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, so yeah, this is how you set up OpenVPN and uh, use it across your devices. Um, yeah, stay secure guys.